Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be reviewing or going over another update in my top-down framework. I got yelled at for calling it an engine, so I guess we're going to call it a framework, which is essentially what it is. I was just using different contexts. But the settings are still basically the same. I just changed this a little bit. You can go visual, all this gameplay, you know, you can change move forward that uh left right interact as e and apply i'm not sure why it didn't come up with the change key or whatever game restarts settings audio i changed this the music volume and effects volume i can bring this down to we'll do 30 for the video if i click apply it's gonna restart the game again now for some reason the way I made this save or something I still haven't figured it out I can't go back into the audio or else it's gonna mess it up again but if I go to play I added this fancy loading screen loads of resources um, I changed the uh, HUD it's actually uh, bigger now than it was before because I was before I just realized I was using display get width and display get height so it would make this like super a, a large GUI layer whenever it didn't need to be that large I just need to make it the width and height of the camera so now it's an actual size it's the right scale and I've also been working on about the past month uh, coding a console this is the console uh, press F1 in game comes up and there's a ton of commands so if I do underscore help it comes up with some of the commands I've added I add a lot more but this is just a few that can really help you in game uh, so get attribute is to get the value of an uh, like the value of a variable in an object so say I want to get say my HP you, you already know it's 100, but say I want to get that. So I can do underscore get underscore attribute. Then I type in the object, obj player. And then space. None of these, as it says, parameters are not separated by uh, operators, parentheses, or commas. So you don't need those. Uh, obj player, and then I want to get the HP variable. Enter, says 100. Say I want to get the global dot weapon variable. See what weapon I have right now. I could say get attribute our player and then global dot weapon. And it comes up with one, which is true. Say I want to set an attribute, which is setting a variable to a different value. First let's set the HP. We'll change it to 50. And bam, you see my health bar change down to 50%. Now say I want a different gun. Well, that's super easy. Get or er, set attribute. And then we're just going to say our player. And then we're going to set our global dot weapon. And you have to know. I, I like on my website if I end up releasing this game I'll have the uh, whenever it's all finished I'll have like the IDs for all the you know items in the game all that jazz so you know uh, what to set these to and the IDs so a uh, five is an Uzi so if I type in five press enter I get an Uzi if I press F1 to toggle the console I have an Uzi but I added an anti-cheat where you cannot abuse this command by spawning in all of the guns. As soon as you switch back to a melee weapon, which is your number one on your keyboard, as soon as you press that, if I press five on the keyboard, like I can't scroll, I'm pressing one, two, three, four, five, you know, six, it doesn't change back to that gun. It's not there anymore, and you have to spawn it in again if you needed to. So you can't have more than one gun spawned in at a time. And as soon as you switch from that gun, it's gone until you spawn it in again. So 
now say, well, how do I know what the IDs are? How do I know the object names? You don't need to know the object names. Let's clear this console. Let's do slash or underscore help again. And we get this uh, show ID right here. It says show ID. Now, if we do that, show underscore ID. See, it says, uh, oops, it doesn't say it on the objects for some reason. But it says the IDs for a certain amount of time. And as soon as I fix it to display at the right position, uh, if you type in that ID, the number, then it will also, uh, it'll be the same as the object. It's just, it, it's either called by the ID or the object name. And we'll just go over some of the other objects uh, or the commands. So uh, say I want to, you know, creating an object, just instance create at whatever X and Y you give it. Not that big of a deal. Um, if we go print underscore print, we could say anything in the console we want. We can print math equations. So let's just do five plus five. Boom, 10. Let's do print. Hello world. Hello world. Pretty simple. Now, if we do destroy object, now this destroys every single object that has that name. So all the enemies that have the name OBJ enemy melee, all the uh, all the um, instances that have the name OBJ wall going to be destroyed. We'll do. We'll do all the enemies. So the name of that is OBJ enemy melee. And bam. Every enemy has just been gone. Like they are completely gone. Not here anymore. These this level is filled with enemies and they're all gone. So it's easy if you just want to get to the next level. It loads. And bam, we're into the next level. Yada, yada, yada. So that's my... Uh, and it, said, it even says how many instances were terminated. But that's what I've been working on in my top-down framework. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, hopefully you guys will see some more updates here pretty soon where I have some levels laid out. Um, I'll get cracking on maybe a storyline or something. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, I really hope this can go somewhere. If you guys want to support me on PayPal, uh, there's a link down in the description. You can donate a couple bucks or nothing. It's up to you. But uh, the more you donate, the better my games and content will become. So thank you guys again for watching. Uh, if you guys want to do sub for sub, I'm down for that. Like for like, I'll do that too. Uh, so thank you guys again. Thank you for your, your uh, support. And I'll get some content out pretty soon.